Jamal Murphy, Bill Roden on sports. Um, you talked about dreaming about this. Uh, does it feel like you dreamt it would? And also, how long before you think about Gonzaga? Um, I'm not going to pay Gonzaga a bit of attention until sometime tomorrow. I, I, I'm not. Um, you know, we go back to, to my high school days. I'm, I'm fortunate. I was an assistant on five state championships. I was the head coach on three other state championships. Uh, so in 16 years as a head high school coach, I was a part of eight state championships. And um, every year, you know, I'd sit around and, and I'd say, maybe one day if, if maybe someday I get a chance, maybe I can do that one day. But I realized I didn't have the pedigree or the, the, the background or the basketball history as a player. Um, you know, and it took a gentleman named, I went through an adverse, you see adversities about, I said this the other day, one of our press conferences back home, you know, we, we tend to jump on these kids when they make mistakes as if we didn't make mistakes. And, and uh, uh, some of us got caught, some of us haven't been caught. But when we sit around and start judging people in their difficult moments, it says a lot about the people that criticize, not the people that make the mistakes. And, and I was a part of an unfortunate situation coaching high school basketball, and it was under my watch. I still, to this day, say we were not guilty, but I was responsible for that situation. And, and I lost my job, and that was the first time I ever said, I, you know what, I'm gonna try this college thing. And I couldn't, I said the story. Only one person wrote me back, and that was Coach K, the only person. And then I ended up taking a year later, I had a principal named Linda Evans, she gave me a job to coach her basketball school, and I loved it. And then a gentleman named Rudy Keeling called me and offered me a job at Northeastern. And here we are, man. You know, here we are. It's, you know, if, if you ever lose your dream or your desire to fight for your dream, then don't get mad when you don't get it. But adversity, uh, adversity, how we handle that determines what comes forward. And... Um, go back to my mom, my grandma, you know, when they told my grandma, yo, you got to leave your house now and you're going to this country where you don't speak their language and you got to go sew from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and figure it out. She lost her husband to a heart attack. So now she was left with my mom and my uncle as teenagers, didn't speak a lick of English. Somehow, some way, here I am today, all because of her courage. So... You know, it's uh, just a lot of stuff, man, a lot of stuff right now. But you can't lose your dream.